What's up everybody, this is Carl from Techful Goodies and today we are looking at the MX Master 3S. It's the Master Series by Logitech. It's a wireless and wired mouse. I wanted to bring this to you because it is a mouse that's about two years old, but it's still what I would consider a really, really good mouse, not only for gaming, but for creative stuff and productivity. So I think it's a great mouse overall. So the MX Master has uh, their mag speed technology in the scroll wheel. So that means you will have a tactile bump on that scroll wheel. But if you wanna spin it really fast, you can do that. So it gives you the option of using it either way. And like I said, that is their mag speed scroll wheel. It also has a 8,000 DPI or an 8K DPI. And their sensor is supposed to be so precise that you can use it on glass even. So if you have a glass top desk, you can use it directly on there without a mouse pad. And it does have different app profiles that you can use. So let's go ahead and open this up. And there it is. Oof. That is a nice looking mouse. I mean, look at, it's got that ergonomic style to it. So it just fits in your hand nicely. I think that's awesome. So you get the mouse, you also get a 2.4 wireless dongle. It'll work with Bluetooth and the wireless dongle if you'd like. And also in the box, you get a USB-A to a USB-C cable, which is nice because then it charges fast with the USB-C. And another good thing about this is if you look here on the front, you'll see that the USB-C charger is on the front. So when you plug it in, you can still continue to use the mouse when it's charging if you want to. Like I said, it is uh, a Bluetooth mouse and it uses their Logibolt technology, which reduces the latency between your mouse and your computer. Bluetooth can sometimes have latency that you don't want if you're playing games, but the Logibolt should sort of tighten that up and make the latency a lot less. And of course, on the bottom, you do have the power switch. So let's switch that on. Okay, so looking at sort of the features of the front of the mouse, again, it is this ergonomic style. I love the fact that there is kind of a thumb rest right here. A lot of times when I'm using a mouse, I'll find that my thumb is rubbing on the table and that just gives it the ability to sort of get your hand up off the table and give you a nicer, smoother slide. The mouse wheel does have a tactile bump. So if I move it very slowly, I can feel that. But if I want to spin it, and of course, you're not gonna be able to see it, but I just spun it and it is just whizzing by there. It does look like it has a DPI button on the front here. On the side, you also get a scroll wheel. It does not have a button that you push in, but it does have a scroll wheel, as well as a standard forward and back button. Each one of the buttons here can be programmed using their Logitech software. So if you're interested in changing how any of these buttons work, you can do that. And as far as the movement, kind of even on this wooden desk, uh, it slides really nicely. These feet here don't have a lot of friction, so it causes sort of a, a really smooth glide. And then again, with the 8000 DPI, you can adjust that and change it in their software depending on what sort of DPI you like. I particularly don't like a high DPI. I don't want to just move my mouse a little bit like this and have it fly across the screen. I like to actually have to move my mouse so I'm feeling like I'm connected to the mouse. The click of the mouse is tactile, so I do feel the bump, but it is extremely silent. There's no way you're gonna hear this on the mic itself. You can see the travel distance isn't very far, but you do feel a little bit of a click, which is nice. You get that tactile feedback. And I'm sure it goes without saying that this does support all different platforms, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, iPad OS, Android. Most mouse software will now be supported by pretty much any platform. And another interesting thing I was saying earlier about the Bluetooth is that you can connect up to three different devices at the same time. So if you have two computers on your desk, if you'd like to switch between them, you can. So you set one up with Bluetooth. I think it has multiple Bluetooth profiles as well as the dongle, and you can just come in and there is a one, a two, and a three on the bottom here that you can switch between. A lot of times I think that's nice because if you have, like I said, multiple computers, maybe you have a laptop and then you have your iPad, you can use the same mouse on both devices. As I mentioned before, it does have the USB-C port on the front. It is considered a quick charge port, which uses the USB-C. They say on the documentation that you can charge it for one minute and use it for three hours, which I think is pretty, Incredible. That's one of the reasons I might choose a wired mouse over a wireless mouse is because I hate it when it runs out of battery and you have to charge it before using it. 
But on the flip side, like I said, it is on the front here. So if you are plugging that into the front like this, you can still continue to use the mouse with no issues. And I just absolutely love, like I said, how this looks. I mean, it just looks so sleek and streamlined and it really does fit in my hand quite well. I have pretty big hands, but I think if you have normal size or even bigger hands, this would work out just fine. This is the light gray model. It does come in black or a graphite, but I think that the light gray looks really nice, especially on my desk back here where I have sort of a gray and black setup. I think that with the keyboard that I have back there, it'll look really nice. So again, this is the MX Master 3S by Logitech. I absolutely love Logitech stuff. It can be on kind of the premium side as far as the price, but I think the quality and the years of research that they put into their devices, I think really pays out. If this helped you out, or if you like this, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, I'd love to see you back. But until next time, this is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and I'm out.